Welcome, everyone. Welcome. You're listening to 96.9 FM, KMRD LP, Madrid, New Mexico. I am Rebar, and you are listening to the Solid Mud Show. And I want to thank Anomaly for keeping Saturn spinning. I mean, who knows what would happen if, if that didn't happen. I mean, sea levels would rise. Chaos would ensue. So thank, thank goodness she's, she's keeping it together for us. That's right, people. That's right. Well, as many of you may know, here on the Solid Mud Studios, we have developed a time machine with its mission. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of getting confused about what its mission is. Um, I think we lost track a little bit. So I'm trying to I'm trying to pull everything back uh, uh, now that the um, the political season. Jeb's no longer running. Jeb, our time machine mechanic, was running for president for a while and. Oh, we had all these can anyway, anyway. So hopefully we're back on track, okay? Back to the true true mission. True mission of the time machine, which is to go back to that moment. That moment in time when music was created. I'm very curious about that. As I'm sure you are too. Uh but I don't know where Jeb is. Uh we, we hired a time machine mechanic and and I don't even know where the time machine is anymore either. I've lost track. There's too many, too many things going on. I mean, I had to bust him out of jail last week. My goodness. All right, all right, all right. Well, enough of that. Enough of that. Here, here's the music, because I know that's why you listen. It's time for Rebar's favorite song of the week. Here are the Drunk Moms, band from Down Under, with a song called Adderall. I mean, who doesn't like Adderall? Right here on your community radio. Uh, this is Chip Jansen for the Solid American News Network Sports Desk. I'm here in Mar-a-Lago at the Cracker Barrel inaugural International Hamburger Throwing Contest. We're in the final elimination round and has come down to Bagwas Ocampo, Trump's valet, and Dakuna Bakunwa, Trump's golf cart driver. Nakila started this round strong with a 30-meter pitch of a well-done slider that left a remarkable catch of stain on the wall. The artistic judges are giving an 8.5 out of 10 for a total of 12.54. That's gonna be hard to beat. We're just waiting for another one of Mr. Trump's outbursts. Bagwas is now carefully approaching with news of the civil trial, and there it is! With a flick of a stubby little finger, Trump motions for Bagwas to toss the burger. Here's the wind up, the pitch, and oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a good one! The burger is up, a stream of ketchup trailing in an arc like an angel's wing. It's a beautiful throw, and the splash, the splash is perfection, equally spread upon the drapes and the paneling, like an ink block test. The artistic judges have awarded Bagwas a fantastic score of 9.3, but will it be enough? Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Bagwas Ocampo! The judges have also fined Trump an additional $50 million. We'll bring you an interview with Mr. Bagwas as soon as Trump allows him to stop practicing. Stay tuned to the sports desk for the next Cracker Barrel International Hamburger Throwing Contest at its new location, Leavenworth Prison. That was pissed jeans with false Jezai. Part two. Guess there was a part one that we missed. Maybe next show. Because that was the Tim version with murder. Before that were some crazy the cosmic psychos with feeling average. Oh, those guys are so fun. They're like old old guys driving like backhoes and stuff, playing rock and roll. Before that was Teen Mortgage with Doctor. Oh my goodness, this was a long set, but short songs. Then it was the Luna Chicks. Oh, oh, Rebar, oh, oh, I'll be right back. The Pepsi what? light's going on. Oh, somebody's ordering a Pepsi. Oh, I'll be right back. I, I don't know what the name of that song. Sorry. But the Luna Chicks. What was the first song I played? 
Oh, Bikini Kill with White Boy. Oh, oh uh, here, Rebar. Uh, uh, here's your, your Pepsi. Yeah, wait. That, oh, oh, no, no. That's the, uh, oh, that's the, that's the front doorbell. Well, door light. Whatever. I'll be right back. I, I'm going to go. Yeah, Jeez, I'm, I'm sorry. That was a busy night down here in Magic, folks. A lot going on this weekend. Who's at the door, Jeff? Oh, oh, hey, uh, it's, it's that, uh, that, that, the guy you were talking about, the, 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 the reporter guy. Uh, oh, right, right. Oh, yeah, uh, Brian, Brian, wow, is, that uh, was... that's right, Brian. Oh, uh, yeah, um, uh, uh, hey, Brian, is Rebar, Rebar, Brian, uh, yeah. uh, uh reporter, are you going to tell us all about investigative reporting? And, and who the how, how we can figure out who this investigator hey, reporter Jeff, is? Jeff, hold on. I, he, he's uh, here. He's uh, here uh, to do an uh, interview. Uh, oh, 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 sorry, yeah. sorry, Rebar. You know, I mean, yeah, hey. don't mean to step on your toes, big man. Oh, All right. Fine. I'm I, I, I'm going to go have a cigarette. I don't need this. Oh my goodness. So. Oh, wow. So Brian Sanford here from the Pasa Tiempo, the the arts writer. Has has agreed to come down here and and talk to us here on the Solid Mud Show. Welcome, Brian. Yes, I have. Thank you so much for having me. Well, great. So, um, so tell me what it's like. You 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 got your pulse, your finger on the pulse of the entertainment that's happening uh, in northern New Mexico. Is that correct? Well, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> well, I don't know what uh, I think. He was putting it a little strongly when he said investigative, but I am working on a story that's basically about the interesting personalities, the people who work at this radio station. So that's why I'm here in Madrid, and that's why I'm on. Oh, really? So there is some substance to those rumors then? I can confirm. Huh. Wow. Wow. So uh, so what's it like? How do you come up with your ideas for a story? And what, you have, uh, what, every week? You have a weekly deadline? It's uh... Weekly, and I had a job different from this one that I did previously. And I did a little writing in that job. And I was just driving in Madrid one day, and I saw the station back when we were at a previous location. And I thought, that is so interesting. I need to find out more about that. So, of course, I did some online research, and I just I pitched it to my, my then editor. I said, I, I have to write something about this. This is so fascinating. These people do this of their free will and volition and for, for love of radio. Like, I need to know about these people who are on the station. And uh, now I'm talking to you. So I'm uh, doing research as we speak. Oh, oh, okay. Um, and I will, uh, I will take walks, and it, it amazes me how many stories will just jump out at me. I uh, interviewed a piano player named Doug Montgomery recently, and I only found out about him because I saw his picture on the um, door of Rio Chama Steakhouse. And oh, wow. You just never know what you're going to look up, and an interesting story is going to be staring you right in the face. Well, nice. So, um... How many stories do you pitch to your editor that get get <laughs> get axed? Let me think about that. Uh, I am really fortunate in that not only do I get to look for stories, but I really don't get told no. Like I have an idea of you know what might be too wacky for her uh, tastes, but by and large, I get to write about what I want to. And when you have that privilege, which is enjoyed by far too few journalists overall. Uh, it really makes you think about the world. Uh, I try to look at things not in terms of, hey, is that interesting to me or not? But, hey, would that be interesting to other people or not? And when you're kind of thinking with other people's brains in addition to your own, it's just a good way to live. Like, you just you experience more awe. You're, you're just, I, I think I referred to the, the song All Gates Open uh, by Can, a band that I love from the 70s. I've really kind of adapted that philosophy as kind of a, you know, always be taking in information, always be thinking about what should people know about or what would they enjoy knowing about. Yeah, yeah, okay, so so now you found your idea, but what what makes it a good story? I mean, you know, what what... what What's that thing that you're looking for? You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll give you one little shortcut. Uh, this is a trick of the trade. Uh, people who sit to want to tell you how interesting they are often aren't. And the people who say, you want to talk to me? Oh, there's nothing interesting about me. They're gold. They generally are very interesting. Uh -huh. So that is, uh, that is one of, the, one of the, the tools that I use. I see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. And things that will make people feign, feign disinterest to get you somewhere, <laughs> I see. I feel like people like to be proud of uh, where they live or uh, the, the history that's related to them. So I try to find things that just 
are reminders that living in, in whether it's Madrid or Santa Fe, Española, it's great. Like the, the, the things that make people feel, people feel good about where they called home. So that's, I guess, another shortcut. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, tell me, what, what's it like to, to work for the Pasa Tiempo and, and here in New Mexico? What? It's the most enjoyable thing I've ever done for money. Uh, I Not only do I get to look at things as potential stories, but I get to know people on a level that I wouldn't probably in any other job. Uh, I'm amazed now that I've been doing the job for a couple of years. I'll go out and about, and I'll inevitably run into somebody I've either talked to or who has read something that I've written and, and liked it, which I'm always amazed. Every time somebody says, hey, I read your thing, I'm like, people people read what I write? Um, but they apparently do. So you just, um, I feel attached to this place, and this is, this is the ninth state that I've lived in, in a way that I've never felt attached to any place else in my life. So it is... Yeah. Um, it is a tremendous privilege. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of us are here in New Mexico for that. I don't know what to call it. Just the, the landscape, if you will. Well, I feel like yeah, there should be a word Same. for uh, I will see people treating one another kindly. Like a th- it's a third party situation where I'm not involved in a conversation, but I'll, I'll see I'll hear somebody beep their horn. And when I lived in Las Vegas, Nevada previously, if you're beeping your horn, it's because you're angry. And here I'll see people beep their horn at somebody and that person will turn their head and they'll get a big wave. And it's because the people recognize each other. There's just this sense of camaraderie uh, that I've not seen anywhere else. And it's a privilege to be part of it. And uh, when you're writing a story, people, because they kind of have that in them. I find they tend to be much more open here. They tend to talk not just about, here's what I did, but here's how I felt while doing that thing. And that makes for a great story. Well, nice. Well, I am cu- more curious also to talk to you about uh, the state of the industry of, of reporting and independent news, because I understand that uh, the New Mexican is one of the very few and last remaining truly independent news organizations in the country. Is that is that accurate? Yeah, there. Uh, it depends on what you consider a, a news outlet. There are a lot of independent outlets that have that have kind of uh, tried to f- fill the void in towns that newspapers no longer exist in. And I have a ton of respect for that. Like the people who work at websites like that, they are working really hard. They're working. You know, 16 to 24 hour days, listening to the police scanner, trying to come up with story ideas, you know, getting phone calls, getting emails. Uh, But what amazes me about where I work is that I will uh, sometimes run into the owner of the paper just in the hallway or when I'm seated, seated at my desk. And I've been doing this for 31 years and I've never had that before. It is, uh, it's really grounding and encouraging. It just reminds you that you're at a place where the, you know, ownership wow. really cares about, and um, it's very different. I uh, have worked for a couple of chains, and uh, there were some really asinine policies that would uh, come out of uh, the Washington, D.C. area, where a lot of the chains were based, that would make no sense for the, the community that I was working in. Um, yes. When I was in Salem, Oregon, uh, there was a rule that you had to have at least one minority voice in every story. And unfortunately, um, it, that's not a very diverse place. Salem's probably more diverse now than it was, but there was an African-American man who lived in town who ended up getting called for his opinion on every same single guy, story. Same guy. The same guy. Yeah. And uh, yeah. God bless him, he was willing to do it. But uh, I think people probably got an idea after a while, like, this worked in D.C., this doesn't work in Salem. Right. And there are never any edicts like that that don't make sense when you're working for somebody who's in the same city as you are. All right. Hey, let me play some more music here, Brian. Yeah, please. Do you have a uh, Do you have a recommendation? I would love. I'm a big Beach Boys fan. Um, how about oh. somewhere near Japan? Oh. Um. Chivo Mato. Know your chicken. <clears throat> you know, I think that's pretty important. 
Yeah, gotta, yeah, gotta yeah. Know, know your, your gotta know your chicken. Know your chicken. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 I, I think I just figured out who my chicken is. Ahead of that was Acid Android with Violator. Mm, yeah, that's that's fitting too. That's a, acid, that's a Japanese uh, band. Uh, uh, Android. Um, ahead of that was uh, was Udon by Klaus Stinger and Japandorf. Oh, udon sounds good right now. <laughs> oh, What's udon? The, uh, oh, it's like a bowl of noodles. And, oh, it's good. It's good. You mean like ramen? Udon. Oh, uh, oh then we started that okay, off with well, with, uh, you're, 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 with a request by track. Brian Sanford, our, yeah. our, our, our no, guest no. from the... Pasi Tiempo, the arts yeah, writer yeah. that Pasi Tiempo yeah, was yeah, kind yeah. enough to drop in and, and talk to us about uh, about the state of uh, journalism. The journalism, yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I think he's he's just another purveyor of fake news, fake news, and uh, you know uh, uh, the, 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 the the attitude that um, uh, you, you couldn't write you know uh, bad about uh, about Trump. Of course, again, there's nothing bad. Right about Trump, and and so uh, of course his papers that he worked for. You know why would people want to write oh, bad boy. about Trump? It, it, it's because it's all fake news, and um and oh he, he calls himself an art reporter, quote unquote, and uh, uh 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 and art is art is intrinsically anti-Trump. You know um and uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. and, 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 yeah, and so it's, it's all fake that's news, and, and and I don't understand. Understand why you would we would give this guy like that much airtime with his oh, well, fake, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, uh, no, no, no. Because uh, yeah, uh, look, uh, that's going to help us. Because uh, remember, like, there's there's some reporter that's snooping around town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and like, dude, if they find out about all that all that stuff we've been doing with the time machine, exactly, you know, exactly. Just remember, uh, you know, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, if that ever gets out, so I brought I brought Brian on and, so we yeah. could we could figure out like. Insight, yeah, 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 but, yeah, 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 yeah. Ins- insight in where these people are coming up with this fake news. They they oh, get some geez, get some great. get some uh, uh, like missed uh, misquoted quotes that are taken out of context, and, and nobody really knows what was really said um, because well, we just uh, re- you know, recorded it. It's on the well, air, but but, but that, 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 here, that could here. be AI, and this that guy he could be he could be AI. Oh, uh, and and. and you never, you never know. Hey, that, you know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? AI. You know, artificial intelligence. Oh you know. Oh my gosh. Uh, hold and, on. And, hold and on. There's. Hold on. Hold on. We got to talk about this. Here are the spits. And and and, and the, but it's all fake news. You know. Bring this, me down. Well, oh yeah, yeah. He worked in Las you Vegas. Might, right. Be, oh, was that it was oh La, 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 Las Vegas, Nevada? Or Las Vegas, New Mexico. There's a difference there in the population of the people, and and, and you, you just never know what what the, what my people are thinking. Oh, that was Bloodshot, Bill. Yeah, it's something called Bloodshot. Oh boy. Huh? Oh, he had that cheap perfume. It's okay to punch Nazis was the name of that song. Before that was information here. It's like you wouldn't believe this. Plague vendor with I only speak friction. Then we started that set off with the spits. Was yep. bring me down. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. The spits. I'm Rebar. This is 96.9 FM, KMRDLP, Madrid, New Mexico. Okay. You know, You're listening you know, to the Solid Munch Show. You know, I'm here. This is Jeb. Yeah, Jeb, well, the time yeah, machine okay, mechanic. You know, so you, 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 uh, you let the fox into the hen house there, Rebar. With, with this what do you re- mean? You know, that's, okay, so the so-called reporter, uh-huh. um, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure that he's not really... A reporter, not even what? a real human. He maybe he he's an android or something. And and there's I, 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 there's all sorts of numerology that I figured out here. It's like okay, uh, he he wrote this article 
um, entitled "When uh, One Door Closes, Another Door Opens." Oh, how original! Oh yeah, well that's uh, the whole Zen thing. Uh, but you know, yeah, like, uh, but yeah. in the article, the first sentence of the article states. Gallery owner Hugo something or whatever created by uh, 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 created the 52 by 17 by 21 inch. Jim, uh, what the so, heck know, are you and, talking and, about? And, and 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 because of that, you know, I we we were every as everybody knows, it represents the hexadecimal number of. Four eight eight four, and and um and, and when you go on beyond that, uh, it happens to be the Tokyo Stock Exchange, and oh my goodness, um Jim. and uh, which happens to be also uh the the let's see where where was it here um uh, uh the the Kringle you know the Kringle Pharmaceuticals focus on on um uh, and, and, and and then there's uh. Uh, did, you, did you go out on the you internet th- th- again, Jeff? Do you think this is, is a happened? coincidence? I mean, the Tokyo stock has changed, and I and I uh, 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 and oh, uh, yes, the ID of of Kringle Studio. Oh, you know, I like that song. Studio, that last four, song I played. Eight, eight, four. And, Bloodshot Bill. I'm, I'm going to play another song and, and, from uh, from Bloodshot uh, Bill. And how many billions did the pharmaceutical companies pay him to? Like uh, secretly shill their their you know through his articles. Here's and, the and, 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 uh, here's the uh, 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 whole oh, heart's I got, desire. I got, I got more proof here. Bloodshot uh, Bill on your uh, community radio. Oh wait, not there. Uh, uh, they, oh, oh I, uh, 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 where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh. That was the preachers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks, thanks, Emmanuel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pre- I'm sorry. Preachers was the name of the song done by the Petro Girls. Right, and you're sure? Of course you're sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you're looking for some gas, right there's the Petro Girls. Go, <laughs> go fill up. <laughs> yeah, I know that's not your real name, of course. And that was Hot Laundry. That's a great, great, song called Made Like This. Um. Uh, 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 and, and so uh, uh, you're, you're sure on this intel, uh, uh, you know. Before that were the distillers. And, and Cincinnati, Ohio was the name of that song. Well, that, that's some deep cover. You know, uh, you know why would he? Then uh, Clam started us off with a bit much. Uh, all, all, all just a... Right here on your community radio, 96.9 FM, KMRDLP, okay. Madrid, right, right. New Mexico. Uh-huh. I'm okay, Rebar. Perfect. Okay. This is the Solid Mud Show. Okay, that, uh, that sounds... Okay, great. Jeb, great. Jeb, what's going on, man? Okay, okay. All right. Uh, 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 Emmanuel, I'll, uh, thank you very much. And, uh, um, I, uh, yeah, thanks. The, the info is perfect. Okay. Uh, okay, bye. What what the heck? What the heck's uh, oh, going on, Jeff? Okay. Well, that was uh, I I got a, a actual personal com- uh, communication from uh, Boris's contact. Uh, I'm sure this is a a the fictitious name. Uh, Emmanuel Velikovsky says his name is. Uh, uh-huh, but uh-huh. He, I, and, he's uh, he's he know, what, what, he he's got the, he's got the scoop. He's got the scoop. He's saying that he's pretty. He, he uh, knows who the reporter is that's snooping around. Well, it's not a reporter. It's an informant. It's skinny out. What? Of of course, I mean, Skinny Al. Of course, like deep cover. He's been under this for five years. You know. Oh uh, my goodness! Before you even had the time machine, man, did he have a time machine that he was uh, that he was like looking in wait, and knowing that? Wait, if it is, I can't believe it's Skinny Al. I mean, that. Uh, I'm. I'm. Wow, pretty, that I, is the long game, man. And, but wait, wait, wait. If it is him, I mean, that is the brilliant deep cover, right? Because well, of course, you well, know, who who would even know he knows how to write? Uh, of course, you know, that's Kenny Al, but, but man, I, I, I think, you know, being an under, undercover investigative reporter oh, informant is, and that sounds just like Skinny Al's M.O., yeah. you know. Uh, he, hey, you know what, I got an idea. I got an idea, though. Okay. Uh, uh, this is going to help because right. we're going to battle this problem, right? Look, right. look, 
Right. Why don't I go and get a, like a real reporter? Okay. And bring them on air and, yeah, oh. and interview them, and I can I can pick their brain and see how they think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, none, none of the Solid America Network right. reporters, I mean, like guys, I said, are mm, the, right. You know, right. I mean, fluff they're stories. They're moonlighting with Cat Fancy Magazine for God's oh, what, sake. What do you man. expect from those guys? But I think that's a great idea. Thanks for taking yeah. my advice. Yeah. It's like maybe getting yeah. some, getting a professional right. in here to give us let some me, advice. Let, about. Me, let me play a song and, and I'll get that lined up. All right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh. That, this sounds like a great idea. Yeah, it is. It's oh, that's brilliant. Idea. Emmanuel Velikovsky. Yeah. What kind oh, of name man. is that? Keep your keep your keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. that's the, uh, what's it? Uh, yeah. Lao Tzu, uh, somebody like that. Uh, the art of uh, art of uh, the art of the thing. Uh, uh, yeah. Is sure. That, Here's uh, Bikini Kill. I think it was them. I think oh, it was Bikini the Art Kill. of Bikini Kill. Was, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. With, with White Boy. Rebar, it, it's right great here. to be back on your t- team again. On your community radio. Fist bump. Ow. You're not supposed to hit it so hard. You just heard numerology. And ahead of that was by, re- by re- well, kind of by request. <laughs> oh, the Pixies with Monkey Gone to Heaven. Well, I'm Rebar. This is the Solid Mud Show. You're listening to 96.9 FM, KMRD LP, Madrid, New Mexico. And I'm here with Brian Sanford, the arts writer from the Pasa Tiempo. Welcome, Brian. Uh, wow, you have a fascinating job. You've been very uh, hospitable. Thank you for, for having me here. Oh, and do you, do you have to be at the office at a certain time? Can you be a little late? Uh, how does that work? I mean, I don't generally can start you? at nine p.m. on Fridays, so I think we're good. Oh, okay, all right. So I'm not holding you up. All right. You know, you were asking some elements about the job and um, the fact that we're often expected to be out in the field exploring and looking for new information is is one of my favorite things. Nice. So you can kind of skive off and go to the bar and stuff like that. Oh, that's Claim that's me, work. big Claim bar work. guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, no, I am very, very, very curious um, um, to speak with a reporter and, and kind of understand their thinking. And, um, wow, it must be really, really difficult in today's uh, political and economic climate with, you know, fake news shouted everywhere, um, the consolidation of, of n- news outlets. So you think you're, you think you're getting this diverse opinion, but you're not. Yeah. Um, so can you speak to that sort of just the, the, the climate of, of the news industry, um, and what it's like to be on the inside? Yeah, I sure can. And uh, I don't want to sound like I'm, you know, puffing up my current employer too much. I just happen to think very highly of them, and that happens to be where I work right now. Well, they're I've, probably listening, so that's that, good, that, good, 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 good. I, and good I don't want to that do. to be my motivation, but, um, <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to talk a little bit about where I worked previously. Um, I worked at a, a newspaper in Las Vegas before this, and I feel like uh, good newspapers just, especially the opinion page, but in general, they're, they're a mirror that's held up to the community they cover. And uh, the better they reflect it, the more people tend to like the paper. And uh, corporate ownership tends to really put the kibosh on that relationship. Uh, it ceases to the public, publication ceases to really reflect. Uh, where I worked before, it was very um, uh, Donald Trump's largest donor owned the newspaper I worked for, so there were no opinions in the paper other than you should vote for the sky opinions. And moving here, you can see a letter to the editor in which somebody might express that it, they're not common but by and large that's not the prevailing sensibility in santa fe and the paper reflects that and i really appreciate that that connect where where i'm used to there being a disconnect there is connect here so so at the previous job um clearly you're saying there were a lot more controls you didn't have nearly the freedom you you had to operate within certain channels that were dictated from ownership is that is that correct? Is that a correct sort of? That's that's okay. that's dead on. And and now working here, um, those channels 
may still exist, but they're incredibly broad. Like if somebody, if something comes down from above, you know, like, hey, you have to do something a certain way, I know that I've seen the person who came up with that. And that makes it much easier to understand the logic behind it because I know the inevitably I know the person who has, you know, d- yes. delivered it. And I'm not saying a, a edict is not the right word. I, I don't really get those. But uh, I, I, I have more trust because I actually know to some level the people who are quote unquote yeah, it's above just, It's just not an uh, edict from the overlord. It's Correct. Like, it's like the guy in the office across the hall. Exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, I mean, journalism, I mean, it's a dangerous job. You know, maybe not so much on the the art side of things, but perhaps if you were an investigative reporter and you said the wrong thing, uh, something bad could really happen. Well, the only kind of investigative reporting I want to do is finding out more about people like you working at the station. I am not looking to do anything deeper than that. But you have. I'm not so sure about that uh, remark, uh, uh, Brian. Uh, uh, I, 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 I've been digging up some facts here that uh, kind of contradict your, uh, uh, your, uh, uh, your, your. Oh, you, you don't. You want to find out more about the community, right? Yeah, job up and open book. Uh, okay, uh, well, let's see here. Uh, well, it looks like uh, I got some uh, proof here that uh, you did an article on uh, Kringle Pharmaceuticals. Oh, that doesn't sound like something I would write. Uh, uh, focusing on HGF, also known as human growth factor. Oh, I don't think those words have ever appeared uh, there, in there, that, that you're growing humans, right? Um, that, that hey, Chip, Chip, come on, man. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to conduct the interview. Here. All right, well, all right, well, I'm, Chill, man. I'm Look, the, go, uh, go. All right. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, go check the expiration dates on the time machine fuel. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. I'll be right. Yeah. Wow. So, Brian. So, um, again, I kind of want to. I want to just get a feel like how the whole industry um i don't know the right it, it, it certainly changed from what i thought journalism was when i was uh, a young lad um because it can it can get you thrown in jail i mean just recently um the newspaper in in kansas what was the name of the paper i'm it's sorry it's called the marion record the marion record uh raided by the sheriff's office confiscated uh all their equipment and computers uh and then the owner dies of a heart attack uh, the next day over all this uh just because they were looking into a story which they weren't even going to publish uh, that had something to do with a sheriff and a DUI. Is that something? It, it's There was a business owner who had a DUI, and she had been driving for, I think, a decade plus without a license. And those, the newspaper was looking into publishing a story, but, but had not done so. And they put in, I believe, a public records request, which any member of the public, any of us can do, uh, with public information. DUIs and other you know criminal charges are all public information. And uh, there had... Um, the police chief at the time in the town had been kind of ushered out of the Kansas City Police Department for some misdeeds there, and the newspaper had gotten wind of that. So my, what I've learned from this is that he was pretty excited to do this raid because he wanted to find out. The, the business owner had complained, like, hey, they're looking into my, my past, which is their right to do so. Uh, he, yeah, did you hear that? Yeah, 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 that, yeah, looking yeah, in, yeah, looking yeah. into people's past. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That, that, that's. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. It happens right. in journalism. Yeah. Uh, kind so, of, kind of what you do, I guess. The sheriff had some idea that they were also collecting information about him because he had been, you know, again, ushered out the door in Kansas City uh, to this small town in Kansas, and he was caught on tape uh, talking about the fact that they had this these records on him. So there was kind of a combination of several bad things uh the sheriff didn't obviously know that you can't go raiding um you know journalistic institutions just because you think they might have something that on you quote unquote uh but more than that um a higher office i think the da's office had to sign off 
No, it was, I think it might have even been the, the KBI, the Kansas Bureau of Investigation, had to sign off on this search taking place. So somebody in a much higher position than just sheriff of a small town in Kansas had to say, yes, right. you can do this. So there's a big breakdown there. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the, both reporters who were employed at the time at that place have departed because of the stress that the whole thing has brought them. Like they, uh, wow, yeah, they don't want to be in the community and have people say, oh, you're the person who, you know, was on the tape I saw. Like it was, so it, was, it hurt people in a lot of ways. Wow. Yeah. Uh, man, I, I'm so glad there's still uh, local local news and local radio and, and KMRD can be part of that because if we don't, if we don't have the independent voice of the, of the local people, then, um, I mean, kind of all is lost after that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like, okay, it, it, uh, like, uh, okay, let me, 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 um, uh, 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 voice a, a little, um, integrity in, uh, journalism, right? Right? Yes? Sure, Jeb. Uh, 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 okay, okay. Uh, so, like, okay, look. Um, that ought to be good. What do you got? Uh, uh, well, uh. There's um uh there well I I've got some I got some information here that um uh, okay so you deny the, that you're involved in any kind of uh, human cloning uh which of course a clone would deny um and, uh, and um and, uh, you know um, you you requested the Beach Boys and it's it's a well known fact that three of the five Beach Boys were clones. And uh, uh, I heard that story too. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. and uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, so we we I, hey, I, hey, I've, been, I've been dealing with you know, some some numerology here, you know. Uh, you, you, thanks, sir. Uh, so your name? Hey, Jeb, I got to get back you to know, the music, man. Can you? Know, you um, well, Brian Sanford uh, is an anagram for um, banditos, right? You know, uh, especially if Brian, you take Brian, out, do you have another um, song you like to hear? Oh, you you mentioned Can. Uh, you mentioned can, and, right? And, and All gates take, open by can. Oh, okay. yeah, if you take let me, let me out the letters on. left let over from so your name, hear Jeb anymore. <laughs> uh, uh, from uh, Banditos, uh, they 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 spell N A R E, which stands for National Association of Reporters of Fake News. <laughs> now, are you going to deny these accusations? Well. If I'm not mistaken, Bandito's has eight letters in it, and my name has 13, so I don't think it works as an anagram. I got, I got more, more evidence for you, Reaper. Here, do your backtracking, because I got, I got some, I got some ranting to do. Uh oh. All right, let me get this in then. Yeah. Okay, uh, come on. Oh, well, that was the mystery lights. What happens when you turn the devil down? What's the name of that song? The Addicts before that with Viva Revolution. Yep. Uh-huh. Well, then it was the Butthole surf- Surfers. Oh, Gibby. Oh, I love you, Gibby. Uh, Wooly, Wooly Bully was the name of the song. Then we started... The set off with Bloodshot Bill, Whole Heart's Desire. Well, I'm Rebar. This yeah. is the Solid Mud Show. Yeah, 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 yeah Rebar. Je- yeah, Jeb yeah, Clemens, our uh, time, yeah, no. time machine mechanic. Okay. So are, I, are we going to take the time machine out or not? No, well, I, I, I got bigger. I've got bigger news here. This is this well, is well, okay. Why? So your your reporter, quote unquote, that you just had on. Um, I I have proof. I oh yeah, Brian proof. Sanford from the uh, Pasta Tiempo. That, yeah. that, that, no, he, he was came. a Japanese clone. What? You know? Okay, okay, oh, okay. Yeah. First of all, here, look, look. His responses to all your questions were really smooth, right? But then sometimes they were jarring. You know, AI. He was that was that was AI. Oh. You know, uh, it was yeah. you know, like programmed to respond just how how and and. Uh, 
you know, um, and 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 uh, and, and well, if you you know multiply the 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 fifty. Oh wait, I I. I uh, well, you know, uh, he did he did admire the and, the Xerox and, machine uh, over there. He, yeah, I saw, yeah, yeah. I saw him looking at that. Machines are like uh, yeah. yeah, like uh, attracted oh, yeah. to each other, and you know, Kringle Pharmaceuticals. He said he didn't write that article, but he did. I'm I, well, I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, maybe it was another guy with the same name, but you know. Uh, 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 that uh, he's he, he was a ja- he, I swear to God that guy was a oh, Japanese. You know what? You know what? You know what? He, and, asked, he and, asked me. And, he asked me where the, where he could get the best sushi in town. And when he left, he didn't say. He said it sarcastically too. Like well, sayonara. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh. I mean, I mean, he's a Japanese clone. He's not. He's not even a real person. And this is a oh person who's like writing articles for us to ingest that are supposed to be factual and 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 not a you know uh, uh, oh arts <laughs> reporter. He, he's got he's got he's got a, a license to to elaborate on his opinions. And, oh right. And, and, oh, oh, and, oh liberal. And, I guess liberal arts, isn't uh, it? Uh, oh. Who isn't oh. uh, an, an arts writer who's not liberal arts? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, Jeff. Let me let me put some let me put some music on and uh, wait. Uh, I think we, I think we need to get like authorities involved here. Were were you the uh, liberal arts editor of your college newspaper? Here, here's Eddie Current Suppression Ring. Oh my goodness. I, I, uh, I, all that stuff's gonna come out. Oh, wait, yeah. that was in a different. Time. That's all gonna come out. Oh, man, man, man. This article, this, this, and this, we this gotta, reporters writing. Uh, Japanese. Uh-oh. I mean, he's he's like uh, he's uploading to the interlinks right right now. Movie. You know, uh, I told you, you let the fox in the hen house. That was the hives. Song called the bomb. Before that were the cosmic psychos. Nice day to go to the pub. No, oh, isn't it though? It's supposed to be a good weekend too. Before that, no bro, let's do drugs. And I must say, uh, I have to have a disclaimer here at Solomon Show, we do not condone that. Oh, then we realize some of you may enjoy it. And then we started off with the Drunk Mums. Song called Adderall. And I have to give the uh, same disclaimer uh, for that one. Uh, We do not here at the Solid Mud Show endorse uh, Adderall, but we do realize that some of you may enjoy it. Oh, oh Jim! Hey, hey, Jim, hey, our time machine uh, mechanic. Right, hey, hey, man! Hey, 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 oh, oh, wow! You're you're you're, you're, I'm you're, on time. you're close to on time, right? Uh, I'm on time. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, well, you I know, mean, not being in jail. Yeah, you I know, uh, punctuality uh, uh, would not be an issue with someone with the time machine. But uh, uh, never mind. Oh, man, right never mind. Well, well, you can keep hammering on that. Hey, hey anyway, anyway. Radio. Um, okay, hey, look. Um, you yes, know, yes, I've been, I've been. Um, so that this investigative reporter that's snooping around. You know, I've heard rumors about this reporter snooping around asking you know, questions uh, about the time machine and stuff. You know, I, and, and I, I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure I, I got him narrowed down. Oh, you know, it, you know who it is? Well, there, it's down to a couple of candidates, and and um, uh, you know, Boris has uh, kind of pointed me in the direction of uh, this uh, this uh, Russian um, informant, and uh-huh. um, and he's uh, he's brought he's 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 brought to me. And some, he knows who it is. He's brought to me some pretty pertinent information oh, that'll, that'll probably bring it around and oh, uh, excellent. you know we can um, use it we can we and, need and, it, we um, need it. I, I gotta say you know all of Madrid you should beware because this guy's snooping around and he's oh, gonna know. get in your business oh I know um, you know as much as he's as he seems like he's trying to get in ours um, but um, I, I until I no, I, I hear know, he's talking to everybody I've been in investigating the investigating reporters uh-huh. Uh, nice. and, and we need to uh, get the Solid America Network on the on um, these guys. Uh, know, you know, wait, I, well, what if they find out about like you know all the you know the the Alito money and and uh, uh, rebar, rebar. 
next on uh, uh, Melito oh. Money, a money, a uh, oh right, 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 got uh, it, got uh, it, got uh, it, got Klamis, it, uh, got it, uh, uh, got it, uh, a uh, uh, money, may. Um, anyway, I'm um, only barely fluent in pig Latin, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, got yeah, it. but um, um, no. So look, um, yep. if we can get, you know, uh, uh, the problem is, is that our our solid America network. It, reporters are not investigative reporters. They like to think they're reporters. They like to think they're investigative reporters. But um, I, I, you know, I, I think we need to maybe recruit a professional um, huh. to find out. Um, um, you know, so uh, but uh, you know, I, I, I just don't. I, I, you All know, right, let's go back to the music. Maybe to verify. Let's get to the music. Some the of the some of these reports that uh, uh, our our friend our friend. Vladi Mosky, uh, he, I don't Here, think that's clam. his real name, but uh, that Boris has led me on, and I, I think we're, we're we're getting real close. A bit much. And, and um, uh, yeah. I, you know, it's, you hear the name of the song, Jeff? You hear the name of the song? What? It, it's called a bit much. A bit much. Right here on your but community no, radio. But anyway, they're, they're, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna work uh, we're gonna work through these channels, and we're gonna get these people. To the, you know, the, we're gonna get, the, we're gonna get the righteousness, the justice. The, 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 the. Oh, you're gonna need to call. You're gonna need to call the Goulash show on Sunday to to, to hear that one. All right, okay. all right. So, uh, oh, I got the Pixies instead. Here's here's a monkey gone to heaven. Oh look, my look, goodness! Look, look, look! Okay, that was goat. Under no nation. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you assure me your information is accurate, but uh, yeah, uh, uh, I looked you up. I looked you up on the internet, Emmanuel Velikovsky. That's you know, Sun you're you're not an uh, a world renowned. No, you no, you're not a world-renowned Russian. Uh, Before that was uh, 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 historian, white, white uh, theologist. Uh, you're in you're the dark. not any of these things. Oh, and, 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 oh, you can try to tell me all that all day long. No, you're not that guy. No, Ron Gallo uh, with foreground music ahead of that. So, uh, oh, and then we so, started that set off with well, yeah, Eddie Current suppression. Uh, well, I ring. heard you were. Demons demands. Yeah. I, oh, oh, the police are at your door again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm Rebar. This is ninety six point nine FM. And the FBI and me. Uh, KMRD. Uh, how dare you? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trusting you. New I was Mexico. trusting you as a, you know. And, oh my God. And 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 this is what I get: uh, a bunch of bogus information that you're making up. Yeah, what what the heck, man? What's going on? Goodbye. Oh, I'm not going to even call you by that name. That was your but, informant. Your informant. Uh, he went. He was trying to go by the name of Emmanuel Velikovsky, and he was just uh, uh, he, he was just totally lying. Um, that guy's been dead, and he's a brilliant, brilliant. Uh, but the, you know, so while you wait, guy, all your so, information, uh, a skinny L is not our informant. He's not the investigative reporter. He, you know, you could. What? It's not, it's not uh, Skinny uh, Al. Um, man, could, uh, he can't. He can't hold uh, something together for two or three weeks, much less five, six, seven years of underground investigative reporting. Oh, like my this, this what, would so, take. You know. Um, uh, but you know. You know uh, that. Uh, Wait, there, there, was, there was the Japanese clone that was just here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, you, I mean, you got I, all the data, right? I, yeah, you were yeah, showing me. Like, you were showing me that. How many times break. did I have to show you? There was data after data that, and uh, with AI, I, 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 I actually um, uh, uh, compared it with AI. What AI I would do it with his, his responses were exactly the same. So. Oh. He's a, that guy was a Japanese clone, just like the Beach Boys, um, just oh, I like know, I know. I uh, about, I just like Ringo, um, and and you know so. Um, but uh, no wonder, no wonder and, there's that uh, and, a moratorium on Beach Boys songs here and, and, on KMRD. Yeah, and you know what? He's the informant. 
He is the investigative oh, reporter. You're right. You're right. Those two things are not exclusive of each other. They're exactly coherent oh with each wow. other. Wow. So the Japanese clone is the investigative reporter. And we would have never known Uh-oh. if we hadn't figured Uh-oh. out. Oh, no. Oh, I better play some music. I better play some music. Uh, you, you, uh, uh, hear, the, hear the drunk moms? You just, uh, urban uh, cowboy. Uh, do, you James got, do, James you got, has, do you have Rudy Giuliani's phone number? I think I think I need to give uh, him I'm a call. I'm not sure he's got a license in New Mexico anymore. But, uh, I uh, still need to call him. I mean, he's a wealth of information. That's not a bad or great point. He's-